The publicity stunt, Robert. Yeah, but for who? For us. We get Hal and Joanne on staff? Suddenly it's raining students. Don't trust them. They smile too much and they look too clean. All right, and it stresses me out. And when I get stressed out, the baby gets stressed out. Is that what you want? Do you want a stressed out baby? No, of course not. <laughs> you know and love her as no nonsense phys ed teacher Bobby from that hit comedy series, Mr. D. And we love John O, too, by the way. Now she's opening up the firecracker department in a new podcast celebrating women in showbiz. Please welcome the always lovely Naomi Sneakers. Hi, everybody. We're in spring. Oh, my Look gosh. Spring. Everybody sit down. Enjoy everybody yourself. sit on down. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, first of all. Thank you. On the baby news on the show. Yeah, my little Jono baby. You got your little Jono baby. <laughs> yeah. And on six seasons now. Right? Isn't that amazing? That speaks That's, to the success. We are having a good time. Like, every single person on that show brings, like, a unique little comedy style, and it just adds to making it a big comedy style. Yeah. It's fantastic. And you want to know that. You want to know that the cast is having fun when they're making a comedy, because yeah. you hear often stories after comedies are done where it's not like that. There's yeah. egos and tempers flaring. Yeah. You're like, how did they get that chemistry? But it really is a labor of love. It is fun. You don't want to spend too much time in your trailer in this show, because then you miss inside jokes. Then you get to yeah. set, you're like, what's going on? They're like, oh, you had to be there. It's like, oh, I was. I should have been here. So it's fun. It's good times. And of course, just yesterday, you launched your new baby. We did. The yeah. podcast. Firecracker Department. Love the name. Thank you. Yeah, I wrestled with that. So Firecracker Department is a representation of the firecracker women in your life. Yeah, or in the industry. Like, okay. we, and not just in the industry in Canada, but like across the world. Because there's such amazing women that I meet and that we all know from the industry. But I also talk to people internationally as well. So I'm excited to share all of them. And there's a little bit of wine consumption. We have some wine. This is the producers. Carousel Pictures are fantastic. So they put out wine and cheese and people come in and be like, oh, oh, it's a different kind of podcast. <laughs> I'm like, that's right. Have some cheese and wine. Your libations. You yeah. Li yeah, loosen them up. Yeah. So did you come up with this idea? Did you feel it was time for this sort of podcast? Well, it's always time yeah. for voices from women. Always. Like, when is it? Like, I've heard enough. Yeah. Um, but we, you know what, Tyler Levine came to me um, uh, from Carousel Pictures and said, we want to produce a podcast. What would you like to do? And I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to talk to women. I want to talk to women not just about, you know, like the typical, like, what's it like being a woman in comedy? Because I think that question's done. Mm -hmm. Like, that feels like a question for the early 1990s no, or even earlier. You, yeah. you know, like, what's it like being a male journalist? So uh, let's talk about what it's like to be a person in this industry and the successes and the challenges. Failures. And, yeah, everything. And have like more of a discussion than just your resume, too. Yeah. So we get into in depth with stuff. So let's talk about some of the women you've already yeah. sat down with. I know, right? Who are your firecrackers? Well, we've got, so we just had Jane Eastwood, who Legend. like is just like a firecracker unto yeah. herself. She's just fantastic. I love her. And, you um, have a great story because I listened to that one. If you yeah. want to share a little piece of that. Well, just the, um, when we were, there's Jane. Gosh, right. and I love her. Like, she's just so, just, she's just so herself. She's authentic. She never pretends to be anything other than herself, which I just love. And, and kind. And kind. And so we did a commercial together. Is that the story you were yeah. talking about? And um, it was ages ago. And I was like, I'm working with Jane Eastwood. What kind of world am I in that I get to do this? And then at lunchtime, when you're doing that awful thing with your lunch, when you're like, oh, where should I sit? Maybe I should just sit by myself. And then Jane is in the back going, yeah, she's my new best friend. Come and sit with me. And I was like, whoa. Which speaks to her character. I she know. wants to make sure you felt included. And I love her. Such a great person. Yeah. Who, who are the firecrackers you're hoping to get a hold of? Is it true Andrea Martin's one? Andrea Martin, of course. Like, I grew up with SCTV. So, like, Andrea Martin, Catherine O'Hara. We've got Annie Murphy. Speaking of, like, Schitt's Creek and things like that, she's coming up. Um, but there's, but I want to talk to like editors and DOPs and like people that aren't just in front of the camera too mm -hmm. and casting directors because everybody's got like inside scoops about what it's like not only to be a woman in this industry but what they've had to do to get to where they are. And, and your nine-year-old niece you said. Yeah, so I talked right? to my nine-year-old niece, Suniva, and she had the best words of advice. I said, what's your advice for women um, in, in doing what they want to do? And she's like, just tell them to do what they like to do. I love her. It's that simple. She's also sometimes. British. I didn't just put that on. I was going to say. She was like, just do what you like. <laughs> just yeah, do what you like. She's fantastic. I love her. Yeah. Uh, Katie Lang is about to roll up. She's she's a firecracker. Eight twenty. If you want to stick around. Oh my God, I would we love might to. Make I can't wait. Firecrackers happen. I love it. Okay. I'm so en enamored. Yeah. Make sure you check it out, guys. Firecracker Department with Naomi Sneakus on iTunes and YouTube. New episodes every Monday. Head to breakfasttelevision.ca for a link. If you can't stick around, and I would we're gonna love get to make you on the show too. I'm not a firecracker. Yeah, she's a firecracker. Tweet that right. I'm a wise this firecracker. Cracker, for wise sure. cracker. Oh, wise firecracker. <laughs> I love it. You're a whole Melody, other department. Over to you. I
I just like crackers. Yeah. <laughs> I just like crackers. <laughs> Over to you, Mel. <laughs>